Hey there, it's Coach Devil with Cheer HQ, and today we are going to be doing our dynamic warm up and stretch for cheerleaders. So let's go ahead and get started. First thing we're going to do is we're going to prance, get our muscles all warmed up. So for our prance, your weight's staying over your back foot and you're just popping your front toe out. All right, while we're doing this, let's go ahead and practice our motions high V, low V, tabletop, T, punch, punch, high touchdown. Good, and let's do some high knees. As you're doing these, you wanna make sure you're getting your knees all the way up as high as you can. Sometimes it helps to put your hands here to make them tap. All right, now we're going to step and do some butt kicks. Get a good arm swing. With your arm swing, make sure you're getting your shoulders involved as well. All right, let's do some arm circles. We'll go forward first and back. And let's get our ankles warmed up. Let's do some bunny hops in place. And let's go front to back. These will really help get your ankles warmed up for your jumps, your tumbling. And side to side. It's important to make sure we get our ankles warmed up going in all the different directions they could possibly be landing. Good, all right. Legs apart, let's do some squats. We'll warm up with five squats. Four, last one. Five, good. Let's come down, oh goodness, my mask. And let's sit to one side and the other. Really feel the stretch on your inner thigh. Good, and go ahead, sit in a wide middle squat. Use your elbows to help push your knees out. And you can dip side to side, that helps get a little bit of an extra stretch in there. Good, and bring your legs together. And squat all the way down, try to push your heels into the ground this way. And stand up and fold and hug your legs as close as you can. All right, and take your hands and inchworm out and inchworm back in. Let's get our shoulders warmed up, inchworm out. And now drop your hips down and push them back. Feel the stretch in your shoulders and down and back. And one more, down and up. All right, walk your hands in just a little bit and let's do some pedals with our legs, stretch out our hamstrings and our Achilles. And oh boy, my mats are sliding. All right, one second. Good, let's go ahead and sit and Let's do butterfly first. So make sure your feet are coming in as close to your body as you can. If you need to use your elbows to help push your knees down, go ahead and do that. Otherwise, keep thinking about pulling your knees down to the ground as far as you can. And let's fold over, think chest to toes. Don't think nose to toes. A lot of us always say nose to toes, but that's gonna make your back arch more. We want your back nice and straight. So fold chest to toes and hold it. Make sure as you're holding these stretching positions that you're not bouncing. That could potentially um, damage your muscles if we're not warmed up enough. So just a nice static hold. As you feel your muscles relax, pull a little bit deeper. Good, and let's pike. So let's point our toes and flex them, point them, flex them. Let's flex and reach first. So pull those toes back, reach as far as you can, pull your heels up off the ground. Reach, reach, reach. I always like to stretch the flexed pike first before the pointed pike. Um, this one is a little bit more difficult and so it'll give you a deeper stretch so that when you go to do your pointed pike, you can go down a little bit lower. 
All right, Whew. shake it out and point and reach. Same thing with your butterfly. When you go to fold over and reach on these, rather than just arching your back and hunching over like this, that's not stretching your hamstrings. Think about keeping your back nice and straight and reaching as far as you can. If you can't get your nose to your knees yet, that's totally fine. Just keep stretching. It's always good to start somewhere. And keep stretching. Good, and let's go ahead and do a Hollywood. So for this first one, let's do our right foot out in front of us. Left foot is crossing. Right arm going on the back side of your left leg and push. Nice and gentle. Good, and switch it over. So left leg straight, right leg crossed, left arm pushing. Good, all right, and let's go ahead and move to our straddle. So when you straddle, make sure your legs are coming back as far as you can. Point your toes, don't let them roll forward on you. If anything, roll them back. Work on, think about rolling them back. All right, let's go up. We'll go this way first. First, let's keep our chest open. Keep those arms straight and go up and over. So if you can reach this arm to your toe, that's great. If it's still dangling right now, that's just fine. What we want is the stretch right here. All right, and back up. Now this time, go to the same leg. We'll turn and pull our chest down towards our knee. All right, and to the other side, up first and then over. And same thing, turn and drop your chest. Same thing as before, whenever you're doing this, don't try to bounce. Just hold it, pull gently as you feel your muscles relax. All right, and let's reach towards the middle as far as you can. Walk it out. Really make sure on this one that you're not letting your hips and your feet roll forward. Keep your legs pointing up. And reach a little bit farther. And reach a little bit farther. All right, good. Now let's go ahead and move to our splits. So let's do our left leg split first. So first we're going to lunge, left leg up, right leg behind you. We're going to lean into it. Whenever you're doing this one, you may want to make sure that your knee is staying over your heel. It's not going over your toe. That's not stretching what we want to stretch. So keep your knee over your heel. You wanna feel the stretch right in here. If you're super bendy already and you're not feeling this stretch, what you can do is drop your elbow in or drop your elbow down on the inside of your knee. So it would be more like this. You can also, to make this one more difficult, get more use out of it. Pull your back leg up. That definitely gives you an extra bit of stretch. All right, let's go ahead and sit back on your right heel. For this stretch, let's make sure our toe is flexed. And we're going to drop our chest down to our knee. This is just like that pike we did earlier, except for we're just focusing on our left. And hold it, really feel the stretch, and actively flex that foot. All right, now we're going to slide into our splits. So if you can't go all the way down in your splits yet, what I want you to do is try to get your legs as straight as you can, and then use your arms to help hold yourself up. So make sure your back toe is tucked underneath, 
your front toe is pointed straight up to the sky. Um, well, the top of your foot is going up to the sky and try to keep those legs straight. You can bend the back one a little bit if you really need to, if you're still here, but try to get it straight because that puts more weight to help pull you down. Good, come on down, let's do our right side. So we'll turn it and face the other way. All right, same thing with that lunge. So knee over our heel, lean into it, feel the stretch right here. If you need to drop that shoulder down or drop that elbow down inside, you can. If you want to pull that back leg up, you can. Pulling that back leg up really gives a good extra stretch. If you fall over a little bit, that's fine. This is a weird, weird way to have to balance. It'll take a minute to get used to. Good. Really feel this stretch. And let's sit back and flex our right foot. Flex our right foot. If you haven't noticed from my videos yet, sometimes I'm really bad at talking. My brain just moves a lot faster than my mouth does sometimes. And pull that chest close. All right, same thing. Let's slide into your splits. Again, if you need to hold yourself up, that's totally fine. All right. If you are all the way down flat in your splits, to try to make this a little bit more difficult, think about leaning forward and trying to get your body flat to the ground as if you're doing a heel stretch. So practice this as if it was a heel stretch. You can lean into it a little bit more. Um, you can also prop something underneath your front foot and work on um, hyperextending your splits or over splits as some people call them. You can also work on bending backwards and reaching for your back leg or your back foot um, to work on your scorpion or your needle body positions. Spice it up. Once you get flat, there's not, don't think that you're just done once you get your flat split. Keep working to make it better and deeper. All right, back to the middle. This is one of my favorite stretches. Um, my team hates it, but I think it's really, really effective. So what we're going to do is roll through. It's a middle split roll through. So sit in your straddle. What you're gonna do is use your hands to walk yourself up and over. So let me fix my mat real quick. And I'll show that again. I'll show it from the side this time. So you're sitting in your split or in your middle straddle. Your hands are in front of you. You're gonna rock forward, walk your hands up and over. If, you, if your straddle isn't very wide right now and it's still here, this is gonna be a little bit more difficult, but don't give up, I know you can do it. If your straddle is here, you're gonna have to give a really big rock and push to get yourself up and over. All right, I'm gonna face kind of at a diagonal. All right, we're gonna do three of these before we go into our middle split, ready? Hands in the middle. And go forward and down. If you want to hit your frog pose, you can. And walk it back. So the point with these is that as you're rolling through, you're trying to keep your body as low to the ground as possible. So roll through, forward, and back. Good, and the last one, roll through. All right, this time when we roll back, let's just stop in our middle split and hold it. Ready? Set, and roll back. Good, and hold it. Now on those roll throughs, a common thing that I see when we're first starting out, um, especially those that our straddle isn't super wide yet, we're still working on it, is we try to cheat and turn our hips. Don't cheat. I know it's easier, but that's not stretching what we want to stretch. All right, keep holding that split. And if your middle splits aren't that low yet, Use your fist, hold them up as low as you can go, but make sure you're still letting some of that weight be in your legs so that you're pushing down on them. Not too much though. Okay, and come back up and bring it in. Woo! Before we come up, let's go ahead and do wrists, just in case you are tumbling or stunting today. So let's roll them first. And Let's press them backwards, kind of lean back a little bit. So you're really feeling the stretch on this front side. 
good. And turn them underneath and lean back a little bit. So you're feeling the stretch again right here. Wiggle your fingers, make sure they're still working. All right, and roll them in. Let's do our noggin real quick. So let's just roll it down. Let's do one hand on top, one hand on your lower back and press this shoulder down. Try to get your shoulder and your ear as far away from each other as possible on this side. Good. Let's go a little bit to the front and a little bit to the back. All right, and switch it, same thing. Hand on your noggin, hand on your lower back. And try to get this ear and this shoulder as far away from each other. Nice and gentle. It doesn't have to be anything super aggressive. You don't have to like try to pull your head. Just nice and gentle. Good, all right, last thing we're gonna do to warm up is we'll do 10 cheer kicks on each leg. So we'll start with our arms in a high V. Let's do this leg first. I'm not sure which leg that is for you. All right, ready? Five, five, six, seven, eight, back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10, good, and last side. Ready? Five, five, six, seven, eight, back. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, three. And that's it. You're ready to go. Have fun at practice. Good luck at your game. Good luck at your competition. Whatever you're doing today, go out and kill it.